Good day, good morning, good afternoon. It is I, Gabe. <laughs> ah, coming at you for day number five, 100 day challenge. Ah, to be all that I can be. Like I just said, this is day five. Ow, day five. Ah, and today, okay, today I woke up feeling amazing. I slept in my car again. Um, but I, I reformulated how I was sleeping and just, I slept really great. <clears throat> um, and I also woke up this morning feeling really good. I know yesterday, day four, I, I wasn't feeling good at all, actually. The, the, on the night of day three, <laughs> on the night of day three, I ate some wheat and gluten and grains that I don't normally eat. And wow, yesterday I woke up just feeling gross. All day yesterday, I felt weird. I felt myself getting agitated at little, little small things. So today, what I'm really present to is how amazing I feel when I honor my body and when I honor what I know my body needs and I put foods and drinks that only honor my body into my body. Uh, I have so much energy and vitality and, and uh, gumption, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, so anyways, yes, so yeah, that was really was what I was present to is that I can choose to put foods in my body and put things in my body to that only give me energy and that I know are really healthy for me. And by doing that, it, it helps me to be all that I can be. So in this, in this 100 day challenge of being all that I can be, I think I've learned that I've really got to monitor my diet. And at the same time, I'm, I'm really trying not to create the story that, you know, what I put in my body affects me. So it's like I have these two dichotomies, of, or I have this dichotomy of, you know, I, 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 I don't want to jump into the whole mental thing, like, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. But I also, I also want to honor. I, 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 want to, I only want to feed, feed my body foods that make me feel good. So, um, what I'm choosing to do is to eliminate grains, so like wheat, rice, corn, um, any kind of grains that that I'm just eliminating. I was doing uh, a mostly raw food diet, and I'm still going to continue that. I do mornings. I do. Um, I just do. I just eat fruit for breakfast now. That's what I started for day one. Um, on day one of my challenge, I started. Um, just eating fruit for breakfast, nothing else, because I've been reading a lot about that and was really scared, like, am I getting enough protein, which is all this big myth. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I'll, sure I'll talk about it later. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I was just doing fruit in the morning and then a big raw salad for lunch and then whatever for dinner. But the whatever for dinner will not include grains. It can be lentils or beans or something besides grains. and. I, you know, I know that works for my body because when I had my allergies tested, I was actually, I tested positive to be allergic to all starches, potatoes, rice, corn, anything except for quinoa. So I'll still eat quinoa, um, but I won't eat any kind of um, heavy starch. So yes, today's video is about honoring your body and because this is, this is the physical temple that we are able to walk around in the world in. And when our bodies can, can merge where our spirits are, then we can really bring heaven to earth. And so by honoring your body and honoring our own needs for our bodies, we can help to usher in, or we can help to express more of our soul to the world. Anyways, so that's my video. And um, I'm really excited about today, um, just because I feel good. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Bye.